Thanks for joining us today on Envision. I'm Deanne Conrad with Dr. Brian Maher, our superintendent. And uh, summer's right around the corner, creeping up on us. And uh, gosh, you'd think, last one out, turn the lights off, right? Uh, nothing goes on in the schools during the summer. That couldn't be further from the truth. Um, it, what all happens in the summer months? A lot of things happen in the summer months. You know, I still get people that ask me, so, so do you have to do go into work the in the off? summer? <laughs> yeah, I, I really do. Um, and so do a lot of other people, mm -hmm. a lot of other people. You know, when I think about what happens in the summer, you know, the first thing I think about is what we all think about with school, and that is what goes on in the classroom. Mm -hmm. There's a lot that goes on in the classroom in the summer. Yeah. You know, this summer we'll have summer climb, which is um, really a, a pretty intense eight-week summer session for our earliest learners, our kindergartners, first graders, and second graders, where we will really focus in on reading and math mm -hmm. and and uh, other experiences for those students this summer. I'm excited to see um, the beginning of that program and what it can do long term for, for the kids of our school district. Uh, but also we have um, you know, credit recovery at the middle schools and mm -hmm. high schools and we have acceleration programs for kids. So there's a, there is a lot of instruction, a lot of teaching and learning that takes place in those months where you ordinarily would think that that uh, is School not taking is place. Um, you know, beyond that, we have a whole lot of staff development. It's hard to get staff development in during the year because you're focused on the here and now, the mm -hmm. teaching, the learning that takes place on a day-to-day -day basis. So a whole lot of uh, development of staff, development of administrators takes place during the summer. So that also takes place. Um, I think also of the brick and mortar how do these buildings <laughs> stay so beautiful <laughs> when do they when when does the upkeep take place well it right. takes place on a daily basis but some of the major things have to take place during the summer so our custodial crew maintenance and grounds they're working hard all summer long to make sure that not only are the buildings ready when school starts uh, but but they do that preventive maintenance that, that lasts year round and, and i think of the uh, beginning of a, a big project will be the field house out at mm -hmm. Howard Wood. That'll mm -hmm. begin uh, or, or began immediately after the state track meet. Mm -hmm. um, so you'll, you'll see a lot of stuff going on there and, and we'll also see the finishing of another big brick and mortar project which, which will be the, the finishing touches being put on uh, Sonia Sotomayor Elementary School and that'll open this fall. So. Yeah. A whole lot of things going on in the summer months. Tons of exciting times. Um, you know, all of those process things um, are critically important, getting them ready, uh, getting the buildings ready and, and come back to school. Um, but we also have a lot of staff changes, a lot of shuffling that, that happens every year, really. I mean, it's, it's um, rare, I think, that a year goes by where we don't have some administrative changes and such. And so um, you're picking and, and moving puzzle pieces around to make sure that the, the staff is yeah. um, well set as well. We'll have a lot of those. I, I'll highlight a couple of those from the, uh, from the principal ranks and also from the central office um, because one of those kind of dominoes into another. <laughs> you know, we, had, uh, we had an interim assistant superintendent position this year that Celeste Uti Burrow filled very capably for us. Mm -hmm and uh, filling that vacancy on a permanent basis now this year. We'll bring in Jamie Nold from Washington High School. He'll do a wonderful job for us there. I, I would sure anticipate as he's done a, a tremendous job at Washington High School as mm -hmm. the principal. Another um, assistant superintendent, Josh Hall, will be going to CTE to help Jim Kale out, out at CTE. So we've got Ann Smith, who sure. is our director of federal programs, who will be moving in to the director of curriculum and instruction for us. So those are two significant central office mm -hmm. positions. Um, uh, and as I mentioned with Jamie Nold moving in here, that creates a vacancy. <laughs> so we've got Dan Conrad 
moving not from Dan a Dan Conrad. Right. Not right. qualified to be right. a principal. Dan. Dan. Although I think Dan. you would probably do a, a terrific job <laughs> in that environment. I like Dan yeah. better at the at the well, principal. Seat. Dan. Dan. <laughs> Dan certainly has the knowledge of Washington High School yes. and will do a great job there. Really believe that. Two other principal openings um, that will be that uh, will be filled. Hopefully, that's the end of them. Will be uh, Lynn Gillette will be going to McGovern Middle School, right. which leaves a vacancy for us at Garfield, at Garfield <laughs> Elementary, and so we're bringing Kristen Skogstad, mm -hmm. who's uh, a longtime um, uh, district employee mm -hmm. and uh, current administrative intern for us to be the the principal at Garfield. So, those are some of the dominoes. There are a number of others, uh, sure. but those are just some of the moves. That are going on now. Have, you know, some of those have been recently completed, and uh, and no doubt we'll have others uh, through the ranks as the summer progresses. Absolutely. Well, a lot of uh, work that goes into our schools during the summer months when people are taking time off. Uh, right. There are a lot of people working very hard uh, yeah. in those those three months. So we hope you enjoy your summer, and when you're around the schools check out what's going on around them. There's plenty of activities. So have a great summer, and thank you for joining us on Envision.